Okay, today's ride. Just testing out new wind sock. You could call it the wind sock, but it's really called a wind slayer. The wind slayer cover by LSU. We're gonna see how well this works, how well you can hear me. And uh if that's a solution for wind. I'm also right around, but I gotta clean these goggles. Let's go. Let's go. We'll head on down to uh, Santa Fe Dam to hit some jumps. It's already windy and cold. Why did you stop there? Because there's a fucking no, stop sign. No, a turnabout, you're shit. supposed to... Fucking grow up. On a turnabout... <laughs> And then she splits. I love that moment when someone just takes off. They're like, ah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm just going to nail the gas and split. Also, I'm not going to stop for the next stop sign. She stopped dead for a turnabout, but she doesn't even stop for a stop sign. So, uh, yeah, make it up as you go. That road's bumpy. Here we go. Adventure. All right, we gotta kind of figure out this uh, mileage thing because it is way off. Because I am not doing 17. I mean, I, I am, but. in our hand. Now we were measuring uh, 19, 20 miles per hour, but we're got only six miles per hour recorded here, which is not fast enough.
but that was way off. Big group. That is a lot of bikes. So let's just take one down. So PO3. PO7. So we're gonna take PO7 down to 38. Set it. And forget it. Oh seven. There we go. So P07 is the one that's tied to it. That's almost accurate now. Yeah, we're getting 19 miles per hour per hour and we got 22. how we learn how stuff works. We just keep messing with it. So seven, let's go down to 36. And then the other one that said a small number. This one that says kilometers, we're just going to push that all the way back up and assume that's a uh, that's a speed limit, but we don't want no speed limits. We're going to hold the middle button to set, and then we'll test again, make sure our, our mileage is right. Not closer now. Thirteen. Thirteen, yeah. We're good, we're on the number. Still weird wobble though. It feels like there's a wobble somewhere in here. Maybe I got a little swamp stuck on here. Boulder. 
about 30. That's a fun little mountain right there. Hope to hit that faster. All right, thirty. That's forty. Highway noise though. I can't tell if I'm getting air or not. Everything's an app. Let's go. Ooh, rocks. I love when you go like 20 feet and you're like, oh, I forgot to put the helmet strap back on. Okay. Well, right glove comes off. The tan goes to action. Always strap up your helmets, guys. If you fall hard, your helmet just goes flying off. And that's embarrassing. Because then your head hits. So it's all, all right. We got our tripod. And we got our phone. So we're good to go. Definitely need to upgrade the brakes. I feel like only one of the regens working. It's interesting. I'm still getting a wobble. I'm feeling a wobble today. I honestly think I've been watching other people's videos and now I'm like, am I wobbling? Is my bike wobbling? Who's to say? I'm still on dirt though. That's the spot. I think we go up this. Oh, we did. I mean this far, but uh yeah, this is this is quite top. Like this, you want to? Oh, those rocks smell a little dirtier, dirtier underneath. 
Oh, gravel. Why are you doing that to me, gravel? Oh, it's wet underneath. There we go. All right. It is squishy. Rocky. Buffet. Someone did some burnouts here. Dirt track action. right away on an e-bike is the lack of sound. I hear the wind and my voice and I realized I missed the motorcycle sounds to drown out my own voice. Oh pretty! Lots of mud down here. We're doing about 40 down an unknown dirt road. Oh, okay, across the path here. Excuse me. Why stop? Now we got a little bit of dust behind us. Forty-three. right here. Oh, it's a jump. Whoa. That was a lot of air. Yeah, we definitely scraped the front fender on that one. Woo. All right, the road it just ended abruptly. Where are we? Are we are in the park. I love when you got a nice fast 45 that turns into a T that stops you dead in your path. We are on the north side of Santa Fe Dam. It's a bit rocky. We're going to be a little more considerate of the speed over here because we got people fishing. And there's a lot more rocks. Look at that big boy. That's one of those end your day rocks right there. Anything bigger than a softball, it's gonna throw your tire and they do magical things. It doesn't even make sense. You don't know whether you're gonna be facing forward or backwards. Most importantly, your tire goes up it and then chops off of it. And at that point, your tire's already starting to turn and now the bike's deciding, oh, oh my gosh, butterflies. Sorry, little guys. Sorry, little natures. They were making love and they just crashed into me. I mean, we're only tripping at 18 right now. Tripping? Don't even trip, Doc. We're only uh, traveling a mere 22 miles per hour, which is which is e-bike range, e-bike speeds. But we are on dirt and sand and rocks. It's just not the best if you don't have any suspension. But definitely turning up the suspension compression a little bit on here for a fatty has definitely made it less likely to bottom out. There's a constant wind in my face too. Which is telling me it's windy. One thing I don't like about about this this part of town, if you will, this area, is uh, you have this huge rock wall all the way around, like a castle, and there's no way out of it unless you go all the way to the entrance. And I don't always want to go to the entrance. I want to just uh, wrap up the side, you know. I wish 
there was a couple access points. But uh, that costs a lot of money, you know, just to uh, decide on the whim that someone wants a wheelchair access just because. Now I'm out here on my dirt bike tires, so I'm not worried about any thorns. But I am worried about nails and very large pokey sticks. But I went up on that hill. I don't think I can get there without crossing the swamp. And I think I'm in swamp territory. If you've been watching my videos, this is about where the swamp was last time I was on the X20. Those are not my tire prints. Oh, it's so oh my gosh. Oh, it's hit me in the... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is where I was. All right. Oh, that was a big mountain mine. There's holes there. Let's take a look, see how far we can go in this. I'm not afraid. I'm a little afraid. Smells bad. I'm not afraid of the water, but I'm afraid of the stinky water. You know what I mean? I don't really want a huge spray of water at my back. I don't think I've ever gone this far. It's a little slimy. Yeah, I gotta change that that flywheel on the back. That's my next, next job. So this looks like a drainage. Like water dust come through here, but it is a dry today. I want an e-bike through here. I can go wherever I see tire prints. Oh my gosh, it's slippery though. Alright, the bike's really fighting this right now. Does it pass again? Am I... This is slimy, slippery. That's all a leader. Oh, that's... I lost my chain. Okay. Nice thing about an e-bike. Like this boy, your train could your chain could fall off, and you could just uh, keep riding. Think about that in a minute. Let's see what happened here. I heard it slap off. Hey, slappy! Clearly, I need to, uh, my, my finger. Oh, okay. Clearly, I need to go a little tighter on the on the chain here. I'll take a few of these feet off as soon as I put the new sprocket on the back, but I didn't want to take the... Huh, I didn't want to take some chain links out until I actually get the smaller sprocket, because the smaller sprocket is... Oh. Alright. We definitely got a technology issue here. Uh, the smaller sprocket... Oh, I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? I'm just going cruising. Um, the smaller sprocket is going to need a bigger chain or the current size chain. I really should be counting my teeth as I uh, as I move this chain for, forward and back. But sometimes you just do things. Yeah, we're low over here. We're definitely in the valley. That's a good little path. I think what's happening now is that that tiny sprocket on the back has given up the ghost. It's, it doesn't have enough grease. Something's going wrong. And, uh, so since the since it can't spin, it's just tensioning the line, which is popping the chain off over and over again. And if I had a pocket for a chain and a... I don't even think this has a master link on it. I think it just snapped together. 
Um, I'm sure it does, but I'm lazy. And I don't have those type of tools with me today. Wow, this is really, really out there. Anyways, long story short, um, that's, uh, that's it tomorrow, Dennis Brown. Oh, I think we found a way out of here. Also, it does look fun. So let's see where this goes. Is this going to take me on the freeway? I don't think I want to go on the freeway today. Let's see how close we get. Well, that's pretty close. Okay, so this, this ties into the bridge. So we can come all the way over on this side. So there's a six of five. There's definitely a way to cross over. But I don't see that from here. Let's explore over there a little bit. And start heading our way back. I don't know how loud this is for you, but it's pretty loud for me. If you've ever been on the side of a freeway, it's freeway loud. All right, let's take a look at the back. Let's, go, let's come down this hill and then we'll take a look at the back. It's spinning. So, it is hung up right here. Yeah, I think that free will is spun its last spin. Yeah, this is, I can feel it bunching up. I know there's some moss on here, but that moss would not cause this to give up the ghost like the way it is. If I just had a criminal nearby with some bolt cutters, I could uh, fix this. So I'm kind of limited on the technology I have before me. The technology of the time. Can I get it out of the free will, maybe? Just, just so, yeah, it's just so crunchy. Let's see if this is gonna work. This seems dangerous and dumb, but it'll get us home, hopefully, without having to worry about it. Basically, I'm just trying to get this chain away from here, so there's no more pressure. Uh, pedals are going to be kind of useless, so I guess I should pick a spot where I feel comfortable and just, uh, just rest my feet on them till we get home. It's just not happy right there. All right, let's go. Let's not be as crazy.
nice thing about an e-bike is you can just uh, stop using a chain. Now, if I really wanted to fix this to be a little safer, I would definitely just take the chain off and, and just ride the west way home, freewheeling it. But no, I'm just going to take it easy. been under a freeway before. Wanna jump it? Oh, that's the airport. Okay, we don't wanna see anyone here? Just uh, no one's at the uh, runway. I guess their RC planes take a weekend off. My only fear is that if that snags suddenly uh, in the spokes or anywhere else, that I will suddenly. Uh, lock up the rear end and that would be a disaster and I do not like disasters on my day off I see an opening in the gate so that's good But, but to where? Where, where am I? And I'm out of here. Oh, where the hell am I? This is kind of cool and unexplored. Obviously we're going to leave the train alone. This feels like road to me. The nice thing about getting stupid right here is I'm right next to a hospital, so uh, I can limp my way there. Yeah, I can work with this. Looks familiar. Yeah, I can just peace out this way. Right. And we're free. Because on a one wheel, those things are dangerous. Every stop, make sure you check your stuff. Wallet, phone. Metro. The problem with Metro style is uh, they come through about the same time from west to east, so you clear and then and then immediately there's another one
can shoot up to the bike trail and then we'll take that towards home since there's a bike trail here I think you know it'd be nice with a GoPro I don't know occasional beep to let you know it's still on because you're recording mostly in the daytime you're not going to be recording at night uh, just due to the sensor technology or you can have lights on it but then if you got too many lights you're not going to see the light blinking clearly I can't see the light blinking with this big microphone cover on it so uh, there's limitations in technology just have to accept Across here. I want to get down there on that dirt road. Stairs. Is that what I gotta take? Yeah. You know, if these were straight, then yes, but but a curve, and then you got to turn. It's like I don't got that much room to turn. I don't have room to back out of this. Well, the further we go. No curve. Turn, drop, and away we go. This is technically horse trail. We don't see any technical horses here, so. Bradbury. Bubbles. No bubbles today, sir. Thank you. on the ground. I like that there is kind of a horse trail here. Kind of a bicycle trail.
girlfriend. I wave you twice, and then you, then you go. Okay. Street park. This is where the uh, story ends. The bike path comes all the way to the park and then says, uh, nope, you're done. So far, I'm saying the uh, wind slayer uh, works pretty good. If you can hear this, then it's working, because I am slaying wind myself. Behind me. You gotta be really lazy if you park right here to ride your bike. I'm just saying. That's really close. Cool. We'll go north. The big valley. Now we can go right down here, down the middle. That's uh, 50. there was a way right there. Am I crazy? Oh well. 46. 48. I think that's going to about do it for today. I hope you enjoyed riding with us, or me, and the bike is us again. And uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Or if you don't, you know, I'll be sad. And I can't afford a chain.
can't afford a chain, I can't ride anymore. It's just a chain to keep me from going. Yeah. For just two dollars a day, you too can support a YouTube guy. I don't know how much of this audio is coming through anyways. This is like a real first test. I hope I got those jumps because they look cool. They felt cool. Temperature is 141, which is still within optimal driving. But that's on the controller itself. Temperature outside feels like 70, maybe even 60. Oh, it's nice to ride in the winter. Try not to die. And then you look this way and try not to die. All that so you can make a left turn anyways. Try not to die. 